Hi everyone and back by popular demand I'm here to talk to you about the polyvocoder and the monovocoder which come free if you have the max for live um, pack and I'm going to show you something but before we do that I want to um, apologize for my last video which um, apparently had quite terrible actually all my previous videos had pretty terrible audio that's because I didn't have the kit and uh, Black Friday I bought this lovely Yeti it's just I don't know do I sound nice yeah so basically it's actually a mini a mini Yeti it's called a mini Yeti not really sure how to use it yet but it's um, it's not bad and um, little test I did sounded pretty good and I'm hoping this um, improvement in quality is gonna go down well for you guys and makes it a bit easier to understand what I'm saying um, so yeah so let's get cracking so basically this is about the uh, max for live vocoders that exist there's not a lot um, of information on the internet about this vocoder there's just not a lot of information anywhere about it so this is why I'm setting up I've had already done one um, tutorial but this is going to be another so let's start so first thing I'm going to do like with any vocoder um, actually let's move back a bit um, in the previous video some people were saying that the max for live vocoder vocoders are not actually vocoders so you know what they're not exactly the same as the Ableton vocoder. That is absolutely correct. But they sound like vocoders. They behave like vocoders. And they take MIDI to modulate your vocal like a vocoder does. So it doesn't have that same carrier um, modulation feature that the Ableton vocoder and some of the more advanced vocoders do. But this is, this is good. I mean, I'll show you. So first thing you do is get some chords going. I'm going to get Scalar... Scalar up and Scalar is my go to um, VST to get chords. So, I already just get some blues chords, some just random blues chords. Let's get, let's get that. This one, um, this one, they all sound good because they're just basically meant to go together and just loop it and it just sound pretty, should sound pretty good. Okay, so you know, just random stuff. So let's get cracking with the uh, vocoder. So the first thing you're going to do is go to Max for Live. Okay, and I'm just going to type in the word vocoder. And the first thing you'll see is we can check the instruments. It's not in there. It's in the Max Audio effect. Okay, so before we do that, we're going to start with the um, mono vocoder. So that will go into the audio channel where we're going to record the vocals. So we just put it into there. I'm going to record vocals into there. Uh, hopefully that works. And then the next thing we need to do is to send uh, to add a a send a send MIDI effect onto the MIDI. So this is going to send the MIDI to let's just remove the second and last track just to sort of don't get too confused it's going to send the MIDI to track to bus to track two I'm recording a tune I don't know if it's any good but we'll modulate it I'm recording a tune I don't know if it's any good so let's um now just enable this max sender to go to the second track i don't know if it's any good but we'll modulate it i'm recording a tune i don't know if it's any good but we'll modulate it i'm recording a tune okay so that's that and um you can see that it's going through bus two uh, the MIDI track track is actually sending it to bus two. Okay, so um, because it's um, 
Because it's a mono vocoder, really it works best with, um, let's just group that together, with single notes. Okay, so just remove some of these. They just work best with single notes. I think what's happening with the mono vocoder uh, when you play a chord and it's modulating the um, vocal based on just a, perhaps a random selection of the notes. So let's listen to this. I'm recording a tune. I don't know if it's any good. So you can see that. I'm recording a tune. You can see that it's. I don't know. If that's the lowest note. Good, that See, that sounds a lot more interesting. So what I like also about the um, mono vocoder is um, actually it's a way to tune to tune your vocals if you want to find a different way to tune. So for example, you may want to tune um, your song, your vocals to these chords, and you are doing it, but it's a bit sort of robotic. So what you can do is just um, just change the dry wet. I'm recording a tune. And it sounds I like a. If it's any good, but we'll modulate it. I'm recording a tune. I don't know if it's any good. So it sounds like there's a background vocalist, but he's keeping you in tune, right? And then you've got. Um, let's bring this back the dry wet. You've got the uh, amount, which is also um, another way to um, apply the pitch correction, um, and this is 100%, so it sounds robotic, so it sounds less robotic as you reduce it. I'm recording a tune, I don't know if it's any good, but we'll modulate it. I'm recording a tune, I don't know if it's So it's getting you closer to the um, pitch that you want, um, as well as it... Um, it doesn't sound robotic, so, so it's, it's a couple of things, like a lot of options there you could use. And uh, the other thing that you can do here is you can actually imp tr uh, improve the quality of the signal. I'm recording a tune. I don't know if it's any good. So the um, quality is is useful, but actually um, I don't see, I don't hear a, a big difference in the quality. Um, I think it depends on the quality of the, the vocal that goes in. Perhaps the quality of my vocal is not that good, um, but if it's a pristine quality, you may want to use um, these to, so they sound less grainy. So there's some things you can do. Um, what you can also do is um, you can just choose a note. I'm recording a tune. And it will just <laughs> start on that note, but it will move uh, to different notes. Or you can go to bus one, and it will just stay on the note that you want. So if I want it to be on D, for the, throughout the whole song. I'm recording a tune. I don't know if it's any good, but we'll modulate it. So the whole song now, this has been sung in, in, in the key of D, but it's only a 55% correction. If you want to sound robotic, the whole thing to sound exactly in that um, note and key of D. I'm recording a tune. I don't know if it's any good. Okay. So, and then you can mess with the dry wet. I'm recording a tune. Okay, so that's all really cool. And um, lovely sort of utility to have is the mono vocoder. So let's just now use the poly vocoder, which is um, very similar in structure, but actually has, uh, in my opinion, a lot more power than the mono vocoder. So let's give that a crack. And apologies in advance if there's any CPU issues, it could happen, so just bear with me. I'm recording a tune. I don't know. Okay, so what we got there is selected notes that will um, that the uh, will modulate the vocal. So that is in the bus one, but we want to go to number two. Let's do that. I'm recording a tune. Okay, remember Scalar is sending this to bus two. And bus two is what is being received here in MIDI. So it works kind of in the same way. So you got um, dry wet. I'm recording a tune. I don't know 
if it's any good back will modulate it i'm recording it cheap. then we've got quality i don't know if it's any good, good sounds a bit better than basic modulated. i'm recording it cheap. i don't know if it's any good and the amount we just actually reduced the amount of the modulation that the key <laughs> that the key impacts uh, the the vocal sound. I think for mono vocoder, that's probably more useful than in poly vocoder. I think for poly vocoder, you just want to go for that sort of robotic sound. And then you can use spread. You get a few little other effects here. There's this ambient feature. I mean, that doesn't sound too bad. And then you have the... Uh, option to um, to have different um, chord options okay so say for example you want um, this one to be in D minor so you select the D minor chord like that you go bus one because you you um, what will happen is if you stick bus two to any of these options it will just override that with the MIDI and it will play the MIDI with the D minor tune selected which d doesn't work very well but I let's just go back to bus one and we'll select D minor again so we can just hear what it sounds like just with that D minor okay I'm recording a tune. I don't know if it's any good. okay so then you can use another so you can use as many different chords uh, as you want and then you can you can um, assign those buttons to uh, knobs that you could use while you're performing um, using these types of vocoder sounds so for example if we go to um, bus 2 again so we just receive the MIDI and we selected the third patch here we might want the MIDI that comes in to be played alongside the, the this the C note, okay? So that will be playing alongside that high C. Okay, so the CPU is dying there a bit. So um, that's really it for poly vocoder and mono vocoder. Um, I'm hoping this is a much better quality and this makes a lot more sense. Um, and if I've said anything wrong, I'm open to um, criticism. Please correct me if I've said anything wrong or if you want to add to this. So the last thing I wanted to say is, now give me a second here to find it, but it's actually, this is actually part of a pack that you get. So if we just click on packs, um, it's a free pack. If you have... Um, uh, Ableton Live Suite, you you can you you can download this pack for free. So I'm just finding what it's called. That there it is. The pack is called Max Seven Pitch and Time Machines. The pack itself has the if you download the pack and install the pack, you will get the Poly and Mono vocoder. As I said, for free. Otherwise, I don't know if it will work for you. You may have to pay for it. I'm not 100% sure. And then you've got, um, not just that, you've got some other, um, let's just mess around with auto-tuner. You've got this, this kind of weird auto-tune effect. This is not a tutorial for auto-tune by all means, um, but um, it does, in theory, do some auto-tuning. Let's give that a go. So... Um, let me just take that off. It, I'm recording a tune. I don't know if it's any good, but we'll modulate it. I think you have to choose the 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 actual notes. Um, this is obviously not a replacement um, for the the you know the the auto tune products in the market, but it could be useful for anyone who is looking for some type of tuning option. It, I'm recording a tune. I don't know 
if it's any good back for modulated i'm recording a tune i don't know if it's any good back for modulated okay thank you very much for uh joining this tutorial and um finally have it i finally have it so happy that i've got it's so shiny it's so nice so um look forward to more videos with me and with this and with a bit of better sound quality so thanks a lot for your patience and uh, speak to you later thank you bye